The decision has just come down from the federal court stating that the federal government made a mistake invoking the Emergencies Act. How, why, what does it mean for you? That in just a second. But please, ask your friends to subscribe and keep us on the air. We are paid by the PMO, so PayPal. Barry Bussey is a lawyer and now he's an author. Here's his book and it just came out. It's about the truckers. We're gonna talk about this book and the truckers in another episode, but right now I want to put you on the spot because the decision just came down. Yes. I assume as a quick read, you read it. Yep, there's only 190 mean? pages. Oh, nothing. <laughs> what does it mean? I mean, wait, wait, the decision is yeah. they made a mistake. They should have done it, but what does that mean for Canadians? Well, it was unconstitutional because it violated uh, the freedom of belief and so on, uh, protest. It also violated search and seizure, which has to do <laughs> with, the, with the- uh, Bank accounts. Yeah, the bank accounts. Then the other thing is, is that the court said, look when, you're look, when we're dealing with the rule of law, and I think it's a great decision for the rule of law because he said, when you're looking at the rule of law, you've got to pay attention to the act on which the government is acting, which is the Emergencies Act. And so you have to read it, you have to interpret it, and you have to fit it into a decision. Right? Absolutely. And you've got to meet the thresholds that are there in the act itself, which was national uh, uh, emergency, emergency, which the judge looked at it and says, hey, where is the national emergency Wasn't here? the economy, as our <laughs> deputy prime minister said. Right. And so he, he said, look, uh, everything was, was getting settled. The, there was uh, not something that there weren't enough laws in place to be able to deal with it because the right. various provinces were dealing with it. Quebec dealt with uh, the issues, Ontario uh, Alberta had. Uh, and Ontario. And so he says, okay, so where's the national emergency? There is no national emergency here. It did not reach the threshold of being a national emergency. And so he said it was ultra virus of the government. That's not the one point. So, yes, yeah, so people say, okay, well, Trudeau made a big mistake and now he's caught out. So aside from politicians saying you made bad judgment calls, as you always do, even when there's holidays, yeah. what does it mean for people? Well, I think what I found so fascinating with the case is that the judge himself said in the decision, which I thought was phenomenal, he says, look, I am actually sympathetic with the government. In fact, if I sat around the table during this cabinet discussion, I probably would have gone ahead and agreed with the government to go ahead. And then he says, well, but when I step back after the hearing, because he said as a, after the hearing, listening to the government, he was going to go with the government. He said, after I step back, I said, no, uh, as I'm looking at this situation, I'm listening to what the interveners are saying, the Canadian Civil Liberties Association, the constitutional, uh, uh, the Canadian Constitution Foundation. I look at what they're saying and I'm saying, no, hold on here a minute. This is wrong. And then he decides what he did. And he says, look, this is uh, illegal, it's unlawful, it's unconstitutional. So I guess what people take from that as well as the rule of law is that all the slandering of the people involved, the truckers, yep. was wrong. You could do it, but you don't take their bank accounts. Very bussy. Three minutes. This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial, which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government. But people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.